This is Calvin Fisher. He looks like a normal 16-year-old boy. But Calvin is the face of a rare genetic disorder that continually puts his health and his life at risk. Calvin was born with X-linked agammaglobulinemia, a genetic disorder that affects his immune system. With X-linked agammaglobulinemia, or XLA for short, gamma globulin is another name for immunoglobulin, which is another name for antibodies. A means without, and emia refers to the blood. So this is a disease where there aren't any antibodies in the blood. And X-linked means that it's caused by a gene mutation on the X chromosome. I, I kind of feel like some people don't really even think it exists, you know? And, and I think that, uh, I mean, I just, I look healthy most of the time, and most people don't understand that there's a lot of internal stuff that keeps me healthy. He was first hospitalized when he was five months old. It took us about another year to figure out that he had XLA after that, so he was diagnosed at 18 months. There is no cure for XLA, but there is treatment. Calvin receives monthly IVIG infusions to supplement his immune system and maintain relatively normal health, but he is still at an increased risk of contracting diseases and autoimmune disorders. In the summer of 2006, Calvin was diagnosed with chronic juvenile arthritis and admitted to Arkansas Children's Hospital. On June 15th, <laughs> 2006, he twisted his ankle and we thought, this is not a big deal, it'll heal. A week, by a week later, he had multiple joints flaring. He was admitted to St. Francis by the end of June and they thought maybe he would just get better with time and the, 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 the small amount of treatments they were doing and he did not. And so by July, and it was July 6th, we were um, admitted to Arkansas Children's and um, they went through all kinds of um, testing and, and imaging. Both hips were affected. One hip had started to deteriorate. The bone had started to deteriorate already, which was a little bit unusual for having had arthritis just that brief amount of time. Two years and 400 medical appointments later, Calvin's chronic arthritis finally went into full remission. For a brief season, it seemed that normal health and a relatively normal life was finally attainable. But in the spring of 2011, Calvin unexpectedly contracted Crohn's disease and was once again admitted and hospitalized in Arkansas Children's Hospital. Another two years and two feeding tubes later, and Calvin's Crohn's disease went into remission. What the doctors have said is that Crohn's and arthritis are kind of like two sides of the same issue. It's an autoimmune response. Um, having the XLA and the autoimmune thing going on over the top is, is, puts him in a, in a narrower category. It also puts him at more risk. For three years, Calvin has been enjoying a season of health and strength, even though his life is still marked with ongoing treatment and the constant threat of illness, Calvin lives every day with joy, never taking a moment for granted. That was fun. <laughs> I'm sorry, it was miserable, but man, that was fun. 